UFC 305, a very unpredictable card to say the least. As we all know, my boy Astro Boy, and a lot of you guys will also run for him. He got finished, bro. And man, credit to Kai Kara, man. That was some of the most beautiful one, two, and then slip, and then overhand. It was it was amazing, man. So I do believe Kai Kara should get the title shot next. Bit, you know, upset, my boy Steve also didn't get to, you know, get it done. Cause man, like he he didn't look good out there. He he didn't even throw that much. I don't know. It, it does definitely dis disappoint him, but it is what it is. Hopefully he gets back in there. He's got it this time. The next time we see some the leech. He got finished. I I thought that was gonna happen. Carlos Perez is an absolute beast. Uh, the fighting nerds have plot armor as well. Kyle Braulio, Gio John Silva, and now uh, Carlos Perez. Man, what a beast! Leaving man, man. I, I I do think that he should be, you know, probably an opponent for Nick Diaz or something like that. Some some someone who's getting old in age, you know, Legion Man also getting a bit old. Maybe Tony Ferguson. Yeah, definitely he he, he shouldn't have been given Carlos Perez, who is like one of the most dangerous contenders. And then he I can't, I, I don't know who he called out. I was trying to make that like who who was he, who was it he called out being Carlos Perez for UFC three ten, but if anyone knows let me know in the comments because I have no idea who he called out. The tie to Versa, you know. I, I saw that happening. One of the judges scored it thirty twenty seven. I'm not sure what fight they were watching. I also heard that that was the same ref who scored at 49-46 for Costa against Sean Strickland. That, uh, that, I mean, that judge, uh, that judge needs to be fired immediately, if that's the case, because I don't know how he's still employed and how he's still got a job when he's making terrible decisions and judging like that. I think any one of us could have done a better job than him tonight and on the night of the Sean Strickland and Costa fight. Gamrot surprised me in a not good way. Dan Hooker really went out there and outclassed him. I don't know how one of the judges had a 29-28 for Gamera when that second and third round were clearly hookers. Um, Gamera did almost get him in that first round with the grand and pound, but I think he, he, he started to gas out, maybe, how, I'm not sure. I wouldn't say he gassed out, but uh, he definitely slowed down in terms of the work rate in the, the second and third round. But Dan Hooker in the top five in 2024 is a sight to behold. That is amazing. Couldn't be more happy for Dan Hooker. Couldn't be more happy for Kai Kara as well. Obviously, I'm upset about Steve Rusick uh, losing. Man, that, that was an absolute destruction. Demolition, man. Kaikar is the beast at that weight. And yeah, he should be fighting Pantoja. After, I think Pantoja's having a fight, like, probably against Kaira Sakura. Which I think Kaira Sakura should be fighting, like, one of the other guys, you know? Like, I don't think he should get the house in his first fight. But it is what it is. Moving on to the main event. Man, this, this was probably, I think, the closest in terms of predicting the main event that I was like one day I was thinking DDP one day I was thinking Izzy one day I, I was constantly switching in the beginning when this fight got announced I was like Izzy's gonna come out and smoke him fight week I was saying DDP and then after the presser I was like you know what Izzy's locked in he's a bit pissed right now he's gonna win so I kept switching up and in the end DDP got it done and Izzy didn't look too bad out there the body strikes were clearly doing some things to, to DDP and he even said it in the post fight. He was like, I don't want to take another kick from Izzy again. Alex Perez talking about moving back down to middleweight. I low key don't want to see that because I don't want to see him get flat lined because he's not going to be able to freaking walk. I don't know how he made 185. I don't want him to make it again. I'd rather see DDP move up. Sean Strickland, DDP, South Africa. Let's do it. Yeah, let me know your thoughts on UFC 305. Um, Oliver said that um, Izzy had slates. Oliver said that. Oliver said did it manifest this? I manifested this. I didn't manifest this. Hey man, give me easy five. You'll see the damn. Like, follow, and share.